three stairs to get out. You have main breakers, the head, and the windlass breaker. You got the battery switch. There is a courtesy light on the stairs. Three steps to get out. It has a grab rail on the bathroom side. Grab rail on the helm side. Port starboard grab rails. It does have a refrigerator. This is not the original refrigerator. Looks like a Walmart fridge that you would buy for a dorm room. Nothing special but a mini cube fridge. If it doesn't work, you can buy replacement anywhere. Fit to the hole. There are three drawers. Which are locking drawers. You have to lift up in order to get them out. Under. Needs a cleaning for sure. Two more drawers under the V berth. Uh, there is a table for the V berth. Decent size. I can stand up in front of the stove and in front of the sink. You just got to tuck your head a little bit. The sink is obviously broken, so it will need a new valve assembly. The stove has a cutting board and it is an electric alcohol stove which is a nice touch having the alcohol and the cutting board locks down in place storage behind put some light on it big enough for some odds and ends there's a shelf up top side for more odds and ends nice comfortable layout Plenty of floor room. The couch has one cushion. Don't know where the second one is. But, but that's the one cushion. The other one is probably hiding somewhere. But it's a vinyl covered cushion comfortable seating position. There's access to the bathroom under. Uh, there's plenty of room for rod storage. Could mount the butts of the rods right along this line right here and angle them up. Come past and put the upper supports coming across here which would be over the sink so the rods will go from here down to there it does have a hatch which does have has no signs of leaks all the cushions are in top shape it does have the life jackets and storage up along both sides for nets, gaffs, fishing equipment,